I have this Lino Legion. The first thing you need to do is remove the charger, which I already did. The second step is remove the battery. If it's external battery, it's easy and you have access to it, just remove it. Usually there are latches here, so you can remove it. If it's not, then uh, it's internal battery. So you need to unscrew all these and then get access to the battery and then remove the battery. So let's do it. I'm going to remove all these screws. Okay, so once all the screws are removed, then you need to uh, open the top case. So you always need to be very careful when opening this top case. You can use this uh, one of these pry bar like that. all the locks are open and we have now access to the internal panel so here i was talking about this is the battery this is the hard drive we are going to replace first remove the the battery so for removing the battery you always need to disconnect the the battery jack so here is the jack so here now we need to remove this hard drive uh, take it out it's a one terabyte hard drive and then we put the one terabyte ssd so if for example uh, you need to clone the hard drive like uh, uh, cloning means just to copy data from one hard drive move it to ssd while the computer is working and then open the computer laptop uh, take out the old hard drive put the new one in and you turn on everything is as is you don't need to install the new windows drivers application you don't need to do anything uh, it exactly the same computer uh, but on running on ssd but because i want to install a fresh copy of windows on this laptop so i don't want to clone if you want to know how to clone a hard drive to ssd here is my other video i have explained in step by step so you can watch that one but in this one we are just taking this hard drive out and putting the new ssd in so let's remove these four hard drive screws once the screws are removed then slowly lift open and push it little back because we need to open the jack from here so here is the hard drive you can see it's a one terabyte hard drive so now we need to open this bracket take the hard drive out from the bracket and put the ssd in this bracket now we put the ssd in this blanket and put all the screws back so take this hard drive out here is my new one terabyte western digital blue so we'll put this one in just remove this tape for the safety here is the bracket so we we'll put this one in here so let's okay uh, we have put the ssd inside so then we put it back in slowly push it back in place now put the screws back in everything back in let's connect the battery connector now
the battery is connected now put the lid back in slowly start pressing from the corners to inwards you will see the locks are clicking in now put all the screws now all the screws in place now what we're gonna do okay so now is the time to install new windows 11 i i downloaded i created a bootable windows 11 flash drive if you want to know how to download from where to download windows 11 how to make a bootable flash drive you can see watch my this video and the link would be in the description as well you can click up here to watch that video that i have explained the whole process step by step how to make a bootable windows 11 or windows 10 flash drive open the computer connect the charger before turning on the computer connect the flash drive to your laptop okay this way a automatic normally laptops are set to detect a boot from a bootable flash drive automatically so once all done let's turn on the laptop and if it's not automatically booting then we can manually force it to boot from the flash drive yeah seems like it's picked up the flash drive you need to just select your language and region here hit next hit install here accept all microsoft license agreement hit next here uh, since we have installed the brand new OOF SSD, you can either just click on the top one and hit next. But the, if you want to make few partition in your one terabyte SSD, you can click in here and then make a different partition. If you don't want any partition, you can hit here and hit next. It automatically create all one partition, copy all Windows file, and start installing the Windows. Seems like Windows has been installed. Now it will reboot your computer. Okay, this is would be the first welcome screen you're gonna get. The select the region here then select the keyboard layout skip okay it's, once it's connected then pit next now it will be checking for updates okay here you want to give the name of your computer whatever yeah, there is your name or your computer name i just gonna set as a lenovo okay it's asking you to sign in to unlock all the features so now microsoft have made it kind of mandatory to sign in you and have a microsoft account so you need to press sign in and log into your microsoft account okay now i have logged into the microsoft account create a pin this is mandatory just create any pin to log into a computer here you want to tell what you want to use this computer for so let's say for the business and the gaming if you want to install the window it will give you one free month office here press continue and then they will activate but i don't want office for now i will decide later decline decline and boom you are right inside the windows we have successfully upgraded 
old gaming laptop from a one terabyte hard drive traditional hard drive to ssd reinstalled fresh windows 11 from the scratch i hope you like the video if if you have any question or concern please comment down below and i will try my best to answer those questions i will catch you up in the next video until then bye bye